difference. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. Kindly swear the witness. Swear in the witness, please. I, Nicholas Kenya Josephat, do solemnly swear that the evidence that I, I shall give before this Senate in respect of the matters before the Senate shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help me God. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. Mr. Witness, kindly introduce yourself for record purposes. I am Nicholas Kenya Josephat, that is referred to as Kenya Muna, elected member of County Assembly representing Yakist. The County Assembly of which county? Meru County. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Nicholas Kenwa, have you read the motion for impeachment? Yes, I have. That is before the Senate. Exactly. Have you also had a chance to look at the governor's response that has been filed? I have also gone through it. Have you filed an affidavit in support of the response by the governor? Yes, I have. Is it the affidavit contained in that response appearing at page 86 or the way to page 89? It is. Do you wish to rely completely on the amendments in that affidavit? I wish to rely on it. Thank you. I will ask you very few questions, targeted questions for the purposes of this motion. Being a member of the County Assembly of Meru, you are privy to the political happenings in Meru County. Am I right? Very right. It has been said that the governor of Meru has been unable to work with any of the elected leaders, specifically members of county assembly. Is that your position? It is not my position. Has the governor been able to work with members of county assembly of Meru? Exactly. After the first impeachment, the governor made peace with majority, if not all, of the members of county assembly and we have had a good working relationship. Yesterday, counsel for the county assembly said that that marriage was all, lasted for a few weeks after the first impeachment. Is that the position? And if it's not the position, how long did that harmonious working relationship last? I can confirm that you have been having a good working relationship with the governor after the first impeachment. It cannot be said that it lasted for a few weeks because uh, it has been so until mid-September when uh, cracks and crises were introduced to the members of county assembly. You allude to cracks and? Uh, cracks, walls, incitements. Were introduced to members of county assembly. Exactly. Who introduced these cracks to the members of county assembly to the best of your assessment and knowledge? Uh, much of what happened and what has brought us here is an uh, incitement by having to the members of county assembly, mostly by members of parliament, that is members of, members of national assembly, uh, as well as other uh, political leaders in Meru who may not be elected at the moment. Thank you. Uh, you have uh, had a chance to look at the motion for impeachment. Yes. Do you believe that the governor is guilty of any of the charges that she is facing? I will say not guilty. Why do you say so? Uh, simply because if you look at, uh, at the allegations, many of them <laughs> do not impute any wrongdoing on the governor herself. <laughs> 
at the same time, I know the, the decision of the County Assembly of Meru through 59 members to impeach the governor cannot be termed as, well as what was their own decision at their free will. There was incitement, there was coercion, as will be demonstrated later. Thank you. Let us actually demonstrate that right now. You're saying that the County Assembly of Meru did not exercise their mind fully in interrogation of these issues, that they were acting on intimidation and other forces. Can you explain that to the Senate? I'm saying the members were not uh, freely exercising their decisions because some were coerced by political parties that they serve uh, through their leaders. Uh, others, it was a kind of a campaign where uh, some of MCAs were promised that if the governor goes and the deputy governor takes uh, the seat, there will be the doubling of one development fund from the current 15 million that is given by the governor to 30 million. And that one brought some sense of a, a, I mean, a excitement among the members, as well as uh, pushing them to impeach the current governor. Mr. Nicholas Kenwa. Yes. Were you at any point approached and given an incentive to support the motion for impeachment? And if so, what was the nature of that incentive? Now, one of the incentives to impeach the governor was the promise that once she goes, the World Development Fund will be doubled from 15 million to 30 million. Of course, there were other inducements, like some MCAs being promised that there will be CEC members in the executive once the governor goes. Some, some of them are Honourable, promised Honourable to be chief witness, officers. Honorable witness, uh, listen to your counsel and, ask, and answer his question. Thank you. The question was very specific. Were you approached and given any kind of incentive? And if you are, what kind of incentive? That was the question from your counsel. Yes, I was. By whom? Who approached you and what kind of incentive were you given? Uh, some of the incentives was a monetary uh, inducement. By who? Who approached you? Now, one of the person who was sent uh, to offer a monetary inducement was a, a friend of mine known as Kemadi. Uh, he told me that he has been sent. If I accept to send away the governor, I can, I can get an amount. Let us go to paragraph 7 of your affidavit. You make certain allegations there. Kindly substantiate what you mean. You yes, said paragraph 7 of your affidavit appearing at page 87. I can confirm that the deputy governor also called me and several other members of the county assembly where he sought my support in the impeachment of the governor and in return he would double our want development fund from 15 million to 30 million. Is it your evidence before this senate that the deputy governor of Meru actually called you in person yes, it is. for your support in this impeachment motion? Yes, it is. Is it also your evidence that the Deputy Governor of Meru issued a specific incentive of increasing the World Development Fund from 15 million to 30 million as an exchange for your support in this impeachment motion? I can confirm the same, not only to myself but to other members of the County Assembly. It was a promise. Did you uh, accept the incentive? Uh, personally, I did as accept it. I took it to be... It or did not? I did not. You did not? I did not accept it. Yes. I took it to be a mere campaign promise that may not materialize knowing the kind of uh, finance you are getting from the national government as account. Are you aware if any of your colleagues at the county assembly accepted the incentive? Uh, majority of them bought the idea and uh, within the conversation in our, in our circles you can hear that they are convinced if the governor goes and the deputy governor assumes office this one will materialize and it, it will be to their benefit you talk about conversation in your circles what circles are these uh 
normally you know we have formal and informal talks as members of the county assembly we are friends with some of them and so that's what, that's what i mean by circles let us go to the issue of threats because that is about the incentives are you aware of any threats that were issued for people who were not in support of the impeachment uh, many members of county assembly once they often to resist uh, the move to impeach the governor were threatened to be dewitted from their political parties uh, to be removed from the house committees and they didn't we have two who were removed uh, from those committees as a result of their stand not to impeach the governor. Who are these two that were removed and whipped? One is Honorable Finda Naitobi Tobu, who is a nominated member of UDA. The other one is Ruth Kananu, who is a nominated member of the Evolution Empowerment Party. As Honorable Naito sworn an affidavit to support those allegations? Yes, she has. Have you seen that uh, affidavit? Yes. Is it the affidavit contained in the governor's response? A smaller booklet? Are you able to trace it from your booklet? I'm looking for it. Page 90. Yes, I'm there. Page 90. Is that the affidavit of Honorable Frida Naito Gitobu? Yes, it is. Does it confirm that she was dewhipped for lack of support of the impeachment motion? Yes, she has confirmed via her affidavit. Who was the other member that you are aware of that was dewhipped? Ruth Kananu, nominated member of the Evolution Empowerment Party. Do you have any document to show that that happened? You have not attached any document, right? No document attached. But that is your testimony that indeed she was also dewhipped. She was dewhipped. Let us uh, go to my last question. Actually, actually, second last. So then you did not vote for the impeachment of the governor? I abstained. You did not. But you abstained. I abstained. Were you in the floor of the house when this motion was being discussed and uh, voted? I wasn't present. You were not present? Yes. Why were you not present in the floor of the house? Now, the moment it was uh, well known that me and some other nine members making at it a total of ten will not impeach the governor or vote for the impeachment motion uh, the atmosphere was highly charged outside the presence of the county assembly uh, there were some goods that were under instructions not to let, let us in and when one of us attempted to get there that is honorable uh, John Mugna Trangera he was seriously assaulted at the gate of the county assembly of Meru and that one instilled fear to the ten of us not to get into the county assembly of Meru on that particular day thank you uh, let us go to the last question there was a ceremony that took place at uh, Nchero where members of county assembly were in attendance yes and were hosted by the injuring checker yes do you know what transpired in that meeting and do you know what dates those were the meeting was the first the fashioned to be a tree planting exercise where the whole county assembly was invited uh, majority of the county assembly members uh, attended the meeting but it, it turned out to be an all things ceremony where the members of county assembly were uh, threatened with dire consequences in case they never accepted to impeach the governor of Meru. You talk of dire consequences, and I believe you are fluent in the Meru dialect, right? Yes. That oath was administered in the Meru dialect? It, it was. What were the specific threats of dire consequences for those who withdraw support for impeachment? Now, the members were summoned 
in front of that uh, gathering and uh, one of the Julian Cheke elders was hand telling them uh, meaning if you if you you know as a member that you retreat from this course then you should not be part of this and then the members uh, and all was and the ministers and you know majority of the members of county assembly are not members of during check maybe they would fear the consequences because they don't know much about it and that was one of the elements of coercion in this impeachment process at this moment i would like you to look at uh, one of the videos kmv7